hello hello to all my beautiful subscribers welcome back to my channel thank you guys for the like shares comments as well as subscribes i really do appreciate the love and support so let's get into it and see what messages spirit has for you guys please only take messages that resonate you know intuitively okay spirit guide universe ancestors of the highest right light what messages do you have for my beautiful viewers that are watching that is watching okay let's see <clears throat> so you can have a lot of people stalking you or you could just feel like you're being watched or under surveillance okay some of you guys could be models or photographers okay i'm hearing clothing line so you could have been thinking about starting your own clothing line or making your own clothing brand, okay? You could be getting along with family or you're building a better relationship with family, okay? Or you're needing to or this is something that you're willing to work towards, okay? Someone could be watching your social media or all on your social media or someone is trying to find you via social media. Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, okay? Facebook. Let's see. POF. I haven't heard that in a while. So someone could be dating people on POF. Plenty of fish. Or well, someone feels as though it's plenty of fish in the sea. Okay. Ooh, I'm about to die. So that's the song that came to my head. We got lipstick stains. So someone could want to kiss you or something about your lips. Okay. Someone could be cheating or someone is asking someone. Or confronting someone about cheating. Okay. Someone literally could have kissed your wall and left a, a lipstick stain on your wall. Okay. <laughs> someone could feel like that they're in a maze or they have a lot of things to figure out or put together. Or someone is just wanting to put more pieces to the puzzle together. We got merge that came out in reverse. Okay. So something is going on between a marriage or you could be getting married or this is something that you're planning to do in the near future. Okay, some of you guys are getting ready, getting ready or getting prepared to join a wedding. Okay, so someone in your family could be getting married. It could be an auntie and an uncle in here or a cousin. Your mom and dad could have renewed their vows as well for them here. We got marijuana, uh, I couldn't get it out, marijuana and relax. So someone could be into like um, dispensaries, okay? So someone do like pop-up shops or someone is creating a pop-up shop or this is something that you've been looking into to create, okay? You could be a herbalist as well, okay? You could be making a lot of herbs or trying new herbs, okay? Someone is definitely lying to you, okay? If you've been feeling like someone isn't, they definitely are. Okay, trust your gut instinct. All right. Someone can be trying to like hide their money or switch their accounts. Okay, or someone has a secret account. We have toxic family. The family dynamic may be toxic. So it could be a. Uh, mm. Let's see. When I was saying about fixing your family or trying to keep your family together, that's what you could be doing so far as like renewing your vows or a breakup is happening. Okay, these kids is tired of these parents arguing all day, 24-7. Okay, waking these kids about their sleep. Or you could be waking up neighbors. Okay, neighbors are irritated and annoyed with this couple of people or whatever. Yeah, we have confusion. They tired of the chaos. Okay, this person, you and this person above heads a lot. Okay, I'm hearing that song. Yeah, be knocking and bugging and ready to fight. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so y'all really could be abusive. Yeah, copy covers at the bottom of the deck. So someone is very abusive, verbally and physically. Okay, someone could have went to jail recently. And someone is trying to build a case on someone. Because they got caught up into their little frenzy that they had going on cheating. 
okay? You might get a secret or a friend might tell a secret of yours that you didn't want to come out. What's this card? Yeah, purify and cleanse your energy. Someone can see you as very pure or your essence, okay? Some of you guys are celibate. Or you could be saving yourself for a marriage or you're getting ready for a honeymoon, okay? So someone could have proposed to you or you're going to get proposed to over the weekend or take you where it resonate. Okay, someone could want to take you shopping, take you on a shopping street. I'm hearing that song, Shopping Spree, by uh, Tia Marie and Sojival, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, someone is definitely lying to you, okay? They are fulfilling fantasies, whether you know it or not, okay? This, <clears throat> this person has a lot of men fighting over them. Or it could be a lot of women, five, 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 okay? This person goes to the bar or goes out to the club with their friends. And they always get into something. I guess the men, the boys get too drunk and they start fighting or going at it with each other. Okay, if that's you, maybe you and your friends just need to get up out of each other's face or out of each other's way. Okay? Because this friend could be starting to confuse and this friend could be low-key jealous of you. But once you remove yourself or release yourself from this friend or whoever this person is, you will start to see or feel the difference. Okay, yeah, someone is definitely getting caught up. Okay? Or someone is getting caught in a crime scene or they was caught in a crime scene or something. Because this caution card, give me more spirit. Someone could want to do marriage counseling. Okay, or someone could have been going to marriage counseling. Or that's what you've been thinking of. Someone could want to talk to you as well. Yeah, stalking and watching and rumors. Someone could be trying to blackmail you. Or someone just always got your name in their mouth. 24 9, 24 8, 7, 6, 10, and all that. 20. Shit. Somebody is very much unbalanced. So someone might need to balance their self out. Or this is what you're trying to work towards. Okay? Someone could definitely be obsessed with you sexually. Okay. It's like someone wants you to be balanced, wants you to be all balanced, so that way you won't continue to heal with this purified energy. Okay. I don't know about her addicted to drugs, so someone could be addicted to drugs, or someone is trying to say you a drug addict, or you, man. Yeah, private detectives. So someone could be under investigation, or someone is investigating you. Okay, or investigating your life, your whereabouts, your moves. Okay, someone definitely is jumping to conclusions when it comes to you. I'm telling you, someone is sitting up here spreading rumors saying that you could be a drug addict. Okay, you got all these different kids everywhere. You fucking on all these different people with the porn addiction out here. Like somebody's stirring up a bunch of confusion because they can't win against you, they can't defeat you. Okay. <clears throat> this person can have people watching you, okay, and bringing back information to them. You can have a group of friends in your circle that you don't need to trust at this time. It's like these friends smile in your face or smile around you but behind your back. They stir in that confusion <clears throat> and jump into conclusions. I'm here and push it to the limit. So maybe someone got pushed to their limit. So like someone is like enough is enough. Yeah, jealous friends. Okay. Or someone could be jealous of your friends. Okay, you could be hanging out with the boys all day long. Okay, someone that you're married to is jealous because of that. Or they could be hanging out with their girlfriends all fucking day 24-7. And somebody is jealous of that. They're like, when you gonna bring your ass home? Ain't you tired of going out partying and chilling all the time? That's because this person <laughs> is doing love screws to keep you stuck so you won't, won't be able to move. This person could actually go to hotels with different people. I'm hearing something about an entrapment. 
someone could have slept with a detective or slept with a cop or some shit y'all got going on y'all. Yeah, Their judgment came out. A attorney, a judge, or somebody is sleeping with their attorney. Someone is sleeping with their judge, their boss. Mm -hmm. But this person is married. Okay, so you've been wondering why your husband or your wife always wants to argue because they're sleeping with the judge or they're sleeping with an attorney, they're sleeping with a, a undercover cop or something. Okay, with the love spells out here. Mm -mm -mm. These people is messy. Okay, this man probably be saying, yeah, babe, I'm hanging out with the boys tonight. Yeah, dude, radical, all day. We're going to chill, we're going to get lit, okay? Please just excuse me, y'all. I am just like to have fun. Okay, to keep y'all laughing. Okay, find a sense of humor. That's why it's out here. And whole time, this person is out sleeping. I heard sleeping with the lady. Somebody's sleeping in my bed. Messing with my Messing with my Somebody's sleeping in my Okay. I don't know. Somebody could have literally got the hammer down on them. Okay. Or somebody is out here hammering females. I don't know. Yeah, romantic thoughts. Yeah, this person goes out on dates. Well, whoever this, this person is seeing on the sideline. So someone is having an affair. Whoa. Yeah, we have caution stuck in the past. So someone is definitely into something that they got caught up in in the past. So someone could be in, being investigated for a, a killing or some shit that happened in the past. Cause with this caution car, you see how everything's blocked off and they got the tape. Or well, something could have happened to someone in the past. That's very questionable. Okay, it could be when you was a child because you see these little kids on here or something could have happened to a child or to a kid. Okay. Also, something about your past life you're going to remember or you're going to see clearly. Okay. Someone could also be trafficking kids or kidnapping kids and putting them in abandoned buildings. In a secluded area where you cannot see, figure out, or find out. Also, I'm picking up an energy. Someone can have a weird obsession with kids. Ew. So, if that part resonated, please make sure you're watching your kids or you're protecting your kids. It could be a predator around kids or a predator in a in an area where kids be at, like a school zone or something. But you wouldn't... I'm going to get up out of there. Get out that energy. Mm -mm. Just please watch our kids. Because somebody has a weird fetish for kids or somebody is into kids. Somebody is on some weirdo shit. Like, I ain't even going to hold you. Somebody's weird as fuck. Like, they got a weird obsession for kids. Somebody could be watching kid porn, child pornography. What the fuck? This person don't even know that they IP address is being watched or tapped into. This person watched. That just threw me off. Yeah, like this person is not into. They're into little kids. Like, they're not into an adult or older people. Because they say not interested in sex, and these are two old grown adults, a man and a woman. This person has a, 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 a dark fetish for kids or some s s creepy obsession for shit. For... Also, someone is mad because they're not giving their sexual energy to someone. Okay, because the more that this person has sex with someone, the more they keep being put under a spell. Okay? Or the more addicted they become and it's bringing up childhood traumas, the more that they have sex with this person. This person could be very dominating and controlling when it comes to sex. 
Special comedians and BDSM or that pull my hair, choke me and all that shit type of shit. Okay? This person could be doing things strange for a little piece of change but they're running out of money or finances yet codependency at the bottom of the deck and obsession. I told you somebody has a weird ass obsession for whatever the fuck they got going on in their life. And they think that shit is funny. They think that shit is cute with this humor card. Okay? Because they sit up here and lie and say they out hanging with the boys. But the whole time they doing some crazy weird ass shit with kids. Around kids. <sighs> Someone feel like they're meant to be with you. Okay? Look, you give me butterflies. You spark a, a connection with someone. Or someone still has a drawn connection to you. They feel like that you're meant to be. Something about the 4th of July or the summertime. You and this person could be together. So you could have met this person in December, like around the winter time, okay? Or you and this person started a connection around the summertime and then something happened around the winter time or just take it where it resonates, okay? But something significant about meeting someone in the winter time. Now, it might be this year of the winter, 16, 16, you're going to meet someone that you're supposed to be with, Okay? And y'all gonna be on trips, okay? Like, look at this scenery, it's so beautiful. So, that's why Spirit is saying, just keep your energy cleansed, keep yourself pure and cleansed, okay? Because you are manifesting in the person that you are wanting, or the person that you're, or the person that you need, okay? Someone could have also went on a secret trip. As I said, I'm picking up a lot. Like somebody, yeah, we got upgrade. You guys are going through an upgrade, a change. Everything in your life is going to change, okay? So something around either the summer or the winter that's coming up of this year, okay? Something is going to change for the better. I'm hearing something magical, okay? researching occult things little book of spells and i said in my other collective reading that someone has a book of spells or they be just looking up spells or they just be doing all types of spells and shit okay you can feel like that you can't find love or you're just very restricted or standoffish to love okay because of all the trauma you endured in the past dealing with relationships okay but someone is definitely going to come in and make you feel like home to them and vice versa, okay? This person is going to cater to you. I'm hearing that Beyonce song, Cater to You, Destiny Child, okay? So this person is gonna be very romantic, okay? You could be kinda used to dating people that's not very much so romantic, okay? They could be so passive aggressive or they're just to the point to where though they don't show any affection, okay? And it, it could kind of like bring out some form of toxicity in you, okay? But you are definitely going to manifest and get the love of your life or the love that you always dreamt for, okay? So whatever your dreams are, they will come to reality, okay? So we have therapists. Someone can see you as like a life coach. Or someone is talking to a life, a life coach. Someone also could be getting some counseling, okay? Some mental therapy, okay? Or someone just feel as though that you are like mental clarity for them. Like you help them see and understand a lot. So you could be a therapist of some sort, okay? You also could have seen, like you could have been like going to therapy when you was a child. Okay. Or your family could have made it seem like it was something something wrong with you that was very dysfunctional or something that was odd about you. Okay, they that they could have made it seem like that you needed to see a therapist or something as a child, like you needed psychiatric help. Okay, and something could have happened when you was a child. 
Okay, you could have been the type of child, like, just say for instance, you could have been a child that always liked to jump off the bed and you just bump your head all the time, or, or you fall, or something about, something happened to you as a child. That's what I say. you're going to remember something that happened to you as a child. Okay, it's going to resurface. Give me more spirit. You could be mirroring someone, so you and someone could have been through the similar, the same similar incidents as a child or almost close to it. Yeah, we have selfish, moody, childish, and petty, okay? Yeah, you could be a little bit uh, moody, okay? Emotionally all over the place right now. Because you kind of, whenever you figure it out or you have an epiphany or whatever happened to you as a child, it is going to make you mad. Like, you're going to be very much upset at your family, okay? Or whoever raised you. Okay, I heard something about adoption. You could have been adopted as a child. We got transformation in reverse. Okay. Like, it's something... That's probably why people were so adamant and quick to stop your transformation and stop you from getting enlightened. Because whatever it is you're going to discover and figure out and find out that happened to you as a child is going to make a lot of sense on why the tax was so heavy on you. Because, look, black magic in reverse. Okay, these families could have been, these family members could have been doing love spells on you, okay, to make you feel like, oh, they love you, they care for you, but no, they actually was after you to gain something from you. Because they wanted to keep you in this dumbed down low state to where you're asleep and you wouldn't be aware, okay? Because you're supposed to have a, a I'm hearing a life of luxury, a luxurious lifestyle. So they could have took you to some form of facility and diagnosed you with something. And the family members thought it was funny. Okay? They could have said that you had some form of bipolar disorder or schizophrenia or something like that. So it's like you're crazy with your selfish, moody, childish, and petty, petty energy. Okay? So you have some hidden doctor records somewhere. From when you was a child. And the only people that know is this family. I'm hearing this cultic family. What the hell? You was born into an occultic family. And all they was worried about was your riches. And your fame. So they went. And started doing all this black magic on you. So you wouldn't remember. Yeah because you was very different. With this other woman card. It gives me like you was very different. They knew who you were. They knew you was different. So it was his family that could have always been jealous of you. They wanted to keep you in balance with this um, with the balance card in reverse. They wanted to keep you in confusion. They wanted to keep you in low vibration to where as though you fiend for sex or you lust after flesh. So that way you will be controlled easily by temptation or persuasion. Okay. Because when you are stuck in something, when you're stuck in temptation or things that they know that can consume you and take control of you and steal away your essence or your purity or how you were. So it could be drugs, it could be sex, it could be money, okay? It could be unhealthy relationships, it could be unhealthy friend groups, any form of addictions, to stop and block you from seeing the truth, they will do whatever they can in their power to do so. So something about your family or whoever you was raised or born into, something is going to come out about this family. And it could be very shocking to you or very disappointing because private detective is here. So something that somebody is looking into or discovering or investigating it don't make sense. That's why judgment is out here. Yeah, because they didn't want you to see yourself. They didn't want you to know who you are. With self-reflection in reverse and altercation. They always wanted you fighting against yourself and fighting against discovering who you really are. Blockages in reverse. So you're no longer blocked. If you felt blocked, you're no longer blocked. Okay? And they know that you're no longer blocked because the hammer is coming down on these people. So these people... It could be friends, family, or whoever was affiliated in this shit when you was a child. They're all under judgment. 
They did. They their whole motive was to not have you transform. It's transformation in the upright. It's fully transforming. In reverse, they didn't want you to transform at all. So whatever guidance you're seeking with the therapist card or whoever it is that you're listening to, or or or, or you could be doing your own research as well, because things don't add up or things start to not make sense in your life, and you just want to question more on what's going on or who you really are, it's going to all make sense. But you're going to be very much disappointed. I can tell you that much. Okay? They wanted to keep you in a fast life so you will miss what it is that you're supposed to be doing. Okay? And that's what's wrong, and that's what's going on with a lot of people right now, because the more that we stay in society norms or continue to do things that not really figure out who we are or pay attention to what's going on, we're going to continue to be a part of the society yeah we have your fire termination yeah someone wanted to make you lose your spot is what i'm getting i'm here to talk about fallen angels fallen angels what's this word yeah it's a row reader fake profile social media divorce and divine feminine so you could be a divine feminine or divine masculine, you could be a tarot reader, you could be an emperor, empress, take it where it resonates. Okay, this story is for you guys. If it resonates and you feel like something is off about your family, okay. It's stuff that I'm that I'm hearing, but I don't want to say it because nine times out of ten, we do have people that tap into general collective readings or tap into real t readers to figure out what's about to happen next in the divine feminine and divine masculine life to alter it to stop it to slow it down to block it but the blockages are being removed you're no longer being blocked okay they can no longer stop this transformation from happening because you fully then transform okay you gain your essence back with this purify with purity and now these people are mad bitter angry greedy selfish upset okay they're trying to figure out other ways to block you and stop you okay they're they're going over and beyond studying more into the occult like this family is on a biggest bullshit yet but i'm telling you spirit to say judgment is here some of you guys are supposed to be pregnant some of you guys are supposed to have baby or some of you have a baby with this new love, with this new relationship, or with this new partner, or whoever this person is that's coming in, or you're supposed to just be birthing creative ideas. Okay, I'm telling you, you got fake people on fake profiles and social media under fake accounts, disguising themselves, trying to figure out what's going on in your life because their main focus is that they already know that you're the actual divine feminine, divine. I'm here, Aboriginal, you're the actual divine feminine, divine masculine. Okay, some of you guys are readers. It could be other readers that's tapping into your life or trying to figure out what you got going on. Their whole motive and game, their whole motive and game plan is to to delay you. You're fired. But the more they try to delay you, the further you're getting pushed up to the forefront. Yes, someone is going through. They trying to break your heart. You see how this heart is broken. They're trying to do everything to shatter you into pieces, to make you go back into feeling discouraged and, and, and unempowered. But it's not happening because you done built the strength by yourself all alone. With the help of your ancestors, your spirit guides, and the most high God. So you won't ever get back into this place of being brokenhearted. They want you to stay brokenhearted. They want you to feel as though nobody loved you, nobody cared for you. You won't ever get into a relationship that's worthwhile and all this other shit. Because they're broken down, bitter, sad, miserable, and depressed. Because they had a chance to heal their heart. They had a chance to heal their self in order to get that healthy relationship or that healthy family that they always been praying for since they was a child. It's like your, it's like a dream come true. You know, we all, when we was kids, we used to watch all the fairy tales and shit like that. Like you can have a fairy tale life. Because if it's already written for you in the stars, if it's meant for you to be ordained, to have a kingdom spouse and be spoiled, have riches, wealth, 
be happy, live on a yacht, boat, some bad way, and do what you want to do. That's what it's supposed to be. These people know that. That's why they did all this shit to you as a child. Made you feel like you was crazy, losing your mind. Make you attract unhealthy friends. Get attracted to unhealthy people that's dealing with these family members that be having incest and be and pedophiles touching on kids and shit. These people is fucking wicked, yeah. These people wicked as fuck. Because they don't want you to get the love that you're supposed to do where your kids is loved and you are loved. They want to keep this cycle going of toxicity where motherfuckers be having multiple baby mothers, multiple baby fathers. They don't find the one that they settle down with or get happy or be married or have a wealthy life. They want motherfuckers to stay in poverty and stay into this lustful, demonic, wicked, satanic energy. Like, I don't understand what the fuck be going on, bruh. Like, that shit be pissing me off, yeah. This is why I don't be having time to engage with motherfuckers. Because nine times out of ten, I already be calling that shit out with people. I will see your true colors before you even try, before you even show me the real you. Because I will see through that shit. You're like a fucking glass mirror. I will reflect that shit back to you. You will not get one up on me and you will not get past me with that bullshit. Because I'm still going to be that loving, compassionate person I've always been, whether you like it or not. Because you're going through pain, misery, suffering, you think that you're going to put me into that energy? No, it doesn't work that way. 31, 31. And because they know that you have a lot to give to help a lot of people, that's what they're afraid of. They're afraid of the almighty that's in you, man. These people is annoying. It's to the point where it just gets sadder and sadder each and every day. Because they're so focused on what's about to happen in your life that was already meant to happen in your life. They say meant to be. To have a destined relationship full of riches, full of happiness. Okay, taking trips, having kids. Like, come on now. They doing all this womb magic and all this magic to make you go insane make you go crazy so they can sit up here and prove a point i talk see 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 i told you i told you he or she was crazy i told you i told you no nah, motherfucker that's you y'all crazy okay y'all done lost y'all motherfucking marbles like no bullshit then y'all doing all this creepy ass shit making up fake pages and getting people to follow people you're paying people to stalk people you're paying people to watch their everyday life the fact it's to the point where these people are so adamant to see what you got going on in your life that it, they will even go so far to making a movie about you in your own life and you don't even know you the star in a movie you ain't even in the movie that's the thing man they better get the fuck on somewhere all right collector this y'all message Make sure you guys like, share, comment, as well as subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that bell notification. Peace.